Hi guys, this is Joy with Obsessed with Scrapbooking, and today I want to show you how to make a shaped card. So let's go ahead and click on this button down here on the bottom left that says New Project, and we shall get started. Okay, first up, I'm going to go ahead and grab my image. I have an image in mind, so I'm going to go to my cartridges, and they're going to come up. <laughs> And I'm searching cartridges for close to my heart cartridges because I always like to use those because you guys know I'm close to my heart rep. And I'm going to click on the artistry cartridge. All right, and within artistry, I am going to look for the camera. Look, I can search for it, and then there it is. Yay, yay. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pick this camera. I'm going to go ahead and insert that. That would be a fun shaped card. All right. Okay, we do want to pay attention to how big these things are because we do want it to fit in our envelope. So I'm going to go ahead and change the width to 5.5. Oh good, and the height works perfectly. The height is 4, so that will fit in a regular size A2 envelope. Okay, now I am going to, these are grouped together. See, they move around together, nobody falls off. There you go. So first up, up here in the right, I'm going to click on ungroup. And that means I can take this layer off. We have to take him off. He has to go to the side. Actually, let him go down there. Okay. Then I am going to I'm gonna actually put it like this. I'm going to create a duplicate of this. So I go up here to the right and I just click on duplicate. See, now I have two. Two of them, right? But that's not going to open correctly as a card. This thing needs to be flipped. So let's flip him we're going to flip horizontal. Okay, so do you see now how they would line up? And then to get them to weld together to make a shaped card, I think what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna make sure that this and this are on the same line here. So by doing that, I'm gonna go ahead to the Y and I'm gonna put the Y on, let's say, three. Okay, because it goes to the top. So let's not say three, let's say two. Okay, so you can see it. I'm gonna put this one on two. That way I know for sure that they are <clears throat> exactly going to line up. So I didn't do that by hand. Okay, and then I'm going to, to click on this one and using the arrow keys on my computer, I'm just gonna edge it over here. Because I don't think, well, Okay, and now I have them lined up. I'm going to go ahead, they're touching, and I'm going to click and drag, and I'm going to click weld. This concerns me because that looks like that cuts. Okay, so I want to show you guys that so that doesn't happen to you because I have a bad feeling that dark stuff is where it's going to cut. So let's go ahead and undo. Okay until we get something that doesn't say weld over. Yep, now it's no welding over here again. So I'm gonna to have to inch that over just a hair. And I might even do it with my clicker and to make sure I'm still on the Y um, at two, so I know that they're still the same across the bottom. All right, so they just slightly overlap. And then we're gonna click and drag around it, and then I'm gonna slice on weld. Ah, see much better, you guys. See how that looks? <laughs> no lines, because wherever you see lines, that's where it's going to cut. And that is how I make an easy, oh, let's put him in the front so you can see. I arrange and move to front. That's how you make an easy shaped card. Okay, for my second card, I'm going to go ahead and grab an image off the Close to My Heart Artistry cartridge. So I'm going to just type in Artistry. I know which one I'm looking for. I can search with an artistry by typing cat up here because I want the cat. Click on cat. Okay, now kitty needs to be a height of 4.25 because I'm going to be making a shaped card that's 4.25 by five and a half. And kitty also needs to be flipped. So kitty's tail is going the other way. There we go. Push kitty, and, and kitty needs to be duplicated, which you will see why later. So I go up here to the right and I click duplicate. Okay, bye-bye kitty, go away now. 
to make this a tad smaller so I can move them aside and still have room to move them aside. Let's push them over here. Then we're gonna to go to shapes. I'm gonna click on square. And first thing I'm gonna do with my square is I'm gonna make it red. Actually, I'm gonna make it light, actually this light color, honeysuckle, which you'll find out why later <laughs> in a minute. It's a secret, no. Um, the width is going to be 10 inches, so Kitty hangs off this four and a half, or four and a quarter by five inch card. I'm gonna click the unlock and make a height of 4.25, okay? Now I wanna make sure I know where this card's gonna be, so I'm gonna to go to position, and in the X box I'm gonna put one, and in the Y box I'm gonna put one. All right, you will see why this is important in a minute. Um, it just makes sure I can see exact distances. All right, I know, oh, Kitty, you gotta to come to the front. Let's arrange you to come to the front. Okay, you're still not to the front. Move to front, I just said move forward. Okay, now Kitty's to the front. All right, I know that I can stick Kitty out all the way to almost that 12 inch mark. I'm not gonna go the whole way because then I lose the heart, okay? which is a problem you could actually overcome with high contour, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, so there's Kitty. And Kitty's up a little bit too high. All right, there we go. Now let's weld him so his little face is gonna hang over a little bit onto the card. And to do that, I click and drag. And remember, these are one layer to one layer. This, all this stuff has to be one layer to one layer. So let's click weld. Okay, and there's our cat. I'm gonna make sure new kitty here moves to the front and then you can just layer that cat on and there's your card now something you might want to have on your shaped card to help fold it especially in a case like this is a score line so what you do is you go over here to shapes on the left hand side there's a, a choice of score line you click on that and here comes your score line which is very difficult to see it's right here. Okay, so our score line, I'm gonna highlight it over here. <laughs> now you can see the stuff around it, but I'm gonna highlight it over here because I'm gonna, that way it brings it up, it selects it so I can change sizes and things. So the height of my score line needs to be the height of the card, so 4.25. And then I am going to move the card, I'm gonna move this to the five and a half inch mark. This card's gonna be folded at five and a half. Well, since I'm already over an inch, it needs to be over to six and a half, okay? So Y will be 6.5 and X will be one. And so there is my score line where it needs to be to fold. So now you're not gonna have to worry you didn't fold it correctly, okay? Now, we can't just leave things like that. If we do not attach the score line to this card, when we go to cut it out, the score line's gonna be somewhere else, not on the card. It's a really funny thing. So you need to click and drag a box around the whole thing. So we just have the score line with the card and down here at the bottom, on the right, you click attach. Now your score line goes everywhere your card goes. Okay, and Kitty goes to the front. Okay, and Kitty goes to the front. <sighs> Move to front with a range. Okay, and there is your cat card. Okay, third card we're gonna make. Okay, gonna go to images. I'm still in Close to My Heart Artistry, which is good because I want to use the donut cut on here. Here's the donut. I wanna make a shaped card out of this donut. Okay, um, let's set the donut at four inches so you can see the donut well. And you can do two things. You can go ahead and make a duplicate of this so it has the hole in the middle for the back of the card, or you can just attach a circle to it. Probably be easier to just do the circle. So let's bring a circle up that's, and make it three inches, or four inches, I'm sorry. Okay, we're going to have to make this into one layer because remember when things well, that has to be one layer to one layer. And this is two layers. So first step is to ungroup, and then we move the frosting away. Bye-bye, frosting. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and color my circle chocolate, and color my donut chocolate, 
I'm going to go ahead and make sure they are on the same horizontal line because otherwise <laughs> I will be in trouble. Okay, so I'm going to put the X position at one and the Y position at one. Okay, and the most important thing for this is it's got to be the X position at one and then Y could be at like five. Okay, so you see they're touching. That is not going to be enough to hold this card together, right? There's no way that little, you know, quarter inch is going to hold it. So I grab another shape, a little square. Don't worry about coloring this. It'll work itself out. I click on the lock button and make it a lot smaller. And I'm just eyeballing this, just something to hold this thing together because otherwise it's no good. It's not going to work. Okay, I put that together as such. And I click and drag a box around all of that. Down here to the right, I click on weld and there's my shaped card. Okay, so let's move frosting to the front so you can see it. So super simple, right? I can color my frosting any color I want by clicking on the color and then we'll make a pink and there you go. So those are three different ways to make shaped cards. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you. Take care, have a great day.